Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about the 18-ish things that I read in the month of June. So this includes graphic novels, novels, manga, poetry, the whole shebang. There's a lot to get through here, so we're gonna to try to make this as uh, fast as possible. First read of the month, I read Hamlet by Shakespeare. So basically, if you don't, do not know already, this is one of the most famous Shakespeare plays. It's a tragedy. It's about this dude named Hamlet and his father dies and then he sees his father as a ghost and there's all these things that happen anyways i don't really need to explain hamlet because it's such a classic but i read this one for school and i didn't love it as much as i thought i was going to because i do love me a good tragedy but personally i liked othello better and it was okay. like i liked the to be or not to be speech and i liked a lot of quotes from it and stuff but it wasn't like my favorite shakespeare which was unfortunate because i thought i was gonna absolutely adore this but yeah, I gave it three stars. I read Cheese Sweet Adventures, and this is by Konomi Kanata. And this, it was super cute. It was just like this little manga, like graphic novel kind of thing. And it's just about, again, a cat. And it's little adventures. Very cute, very cute. Um, but my only issue with this one was like the formatting was really weird. And I still prefer like Cheese Sweet Home over this one. I think that one has like a better style to it and like a better storyline. This was super cute and enjoyable, but it wasn't like fantastic. I think I gave this one around three stars as well. Next up here, I have Invisible Ghost by Robin Schneider. So I'll put the new cover up so you guys know what it looks like, but I received an arc of this from an HCC Frenzy event that I went to, so thank you so much to them. This is about this girl named Rose whose younger brother dies and she sees him as a ghost and she spends time with him every day. They obviously spend a lot of time together. Rose doesn't really go out that much. She spends time with her dead brother at home. And then this guy comes into the picture and kind of changes things for her. And it's a love story meets a ghost story according to the back. But it's, yeah, it's really interesting. And it definitely was not what I expected, but it was interesting. Basically, I did enjoy this. Like I liked the plot and the characters. The plot was super interesting. Like I really liked the, love story means ghost story kind of plot that this had. Enjoyed the romance and like the writing was like decent for the most part. I think it lacked in some areas though. It was like nothing like life changing but it was enjoyable and like a quick read for me which I appreciated but if you hate that line that she let out a breath she didn't know she was holding that shows up like four times in this book and I was just like hmm <laughs> again. <laughs> so just be aware that that's in there because I know that's a lot of pet peeves for people including myself a little bit. I, I could hear it once and I'm like, okay, great. But like four times I was like, eh. I guess one of 3.5 out of five stars. And if you're interested in it, definitely pick it up because it's out now. Oh yeah, I did vlog for the Cramathon. So I will have my 25 minute vlog linked because I will not talk about these books so in depth because I talked about them for like 25 minutes. But I have Snot Girl Volume 1. This is a story about this girl who has a fashion blog and she has a lot of allergies and it's just about her life. It's very strange and interesting. But the art holy shit the art is absolutely stunning like i am in love with this artwork so much the thing that i really liked about this was again the art and i thought it just had like a really interesting concept and it leaves on a cliffhanger and volume two is now out so i'm gonna be picking a volume two very soon but this was just super strange but i loved a lot of quotes from it and like i'm interested to pick up the next ones so i ended up giving this one like a 3.5 out of 5 stars talk about this one because I talked about it in the Cramathon vlog and then I made a video and I talked about it in that video. So this is the little book of witchcraft. This is just a little book about modern, a bit of history on witchcraft, some symbols, some um, just a little guide to the whole witchcraft, Wicca, the whole shebang. Um, I say that a lot, but I really enjoyed this. Really good guide. I get four stars. It was a good read. Next up here, I read Saints and Misfits by S.K. Alley. Follow a Muslim teen and so we see that perspective and the um, family dynamics and things like that as well as there is a big trigger warning for rape within this book so please keep that in mind. I listened to the audiobook of this one and I honestly didn't like it that much at all. I talk about it more in the Cramathon vlog and like I have a review for it and stuff on Goodreads but I just didn't love it and I was really sad like I felt like a huge disconnect. I wasn't the biggest fan of the characters or the writing or the plot and I thought like the whole subject matter of sexual assault and rape could have been done better or done differently and that's just my personal opinion. I know this receives some praise so 
yeah, but I gave it 2.5 out of 5 stars, so. Oh, I also read Binti, but, <laughs> and I talked about this one too. I have no idea where it is. Lovely. Um, <laughs> but this is a little sci-fi novella. It is so good. Like, I don't even know how to explain it because it's so short, so I, I don't want to give a synopsis, but it's a sci-fi novella. Such a great story. Packs, like, such an interesting plot in a short amount of pages, and I just, like, really, really enjoyed it. Like, it has... It was, it's really interesting and like I want to get the next one so I enjoyed that I gave that four stars next up here I have planting gardens and Grays volume 2 I was sent this by Andrews McNeil publishing in exchange for an honest review but this was I was sent an early copy of this actually so thank you so much I was very happy with that um, I really love Ari Sims work you guys know this he writes very short but impactful poetry and it's all very relatable and I love it a lot and this was the sequel to planting gardens and Grays volume 1 and I was not disappointed by this. I gave this like a solid four stars. I quite enjoyed it. I love his work. Nothing new there. Next up here, I read Smoke by Alan Hopkins. I have no idea where it is. So I'm like, hmm, picture. So this is the sequel to Burned, which this is a duology, the very intense story. It's Ooh, how do I even describe this? It has a lot of trigger warnings, like a lot. Like if you've read Alan Hopkins, you know how many, like how serious her books are. But this one is written in verse and it was a very like interesting story. Again, I talk about it in that reading vlog. So I'll like link that, but it was good and impactful. And it was like a short read. And if you're in the mood for like a short but impactful, like quick duology, then definitely check that one out. It's not my favorite Alan Hopkins by like, by any means, but it was like solid. I gave it like 3.5 to 5 stars. Here I read Open Earth and this is by Sarah Merck, Eva Cabaria, and Claudia Agari. This book comes out in September. This is like a little graphic novel. I'll try to find a page that isn't explicit. But basically this is about these people, this group of friends who live on a spaceship and just, this explores our main character with love and sex and relationships and it's full of sex basically. So keep that in mind before picking this up, that it is explicit. Um, I wish this had more to it. Like, I wish there was more sci-fi to this. I thought the concept was interesting, but like, I wish there was more sci-fi. Like, it was mostly just sex, and I was like, okay, uh, great. But it was okay. The art style was like decent. Um, if I can remember to pick up the volumes in the future, I will. But if, just, if this sounds interesting to you, check it out. It's been getting like better reviews than I'm saying, but like, I only gave it three stars read 25 poems for the NSA and this is by INS Thomas I believe hopefully that's right um I this one was fine I gave it 2.5 stars it was just okay it was super short but it was okay next up here I read The Poet X this is by Elizabeth Ace Fetto I buddy read this with my friend Jessica so I'll have her channel link down below she just started and yeah I'll link her down below but this book is super interesting it's written in verse and I got it in my cage habit box so like I have all the like t things in it but this is about a girl named X Maro X -O Mara. She, it's basically, I don't want to give too much because I was pleasantly surprised by this one and it was different than I expected, but it's about her and there's poetry involved and there's a lot of things like that. And it's about her like finding her voice through poetry and being able to express herself and things like that. Actually, this had some carry vibes to it. Like there was some religious elements to it and that was really interesting to read about. Definitely not what I expected at all. The main character was so badass. Like I loved her so much. At times I was like, please stop. But at the same time, like she had some, she had some like a punch to her and I really enjoyed that. And the writing was decent. Like it was overall like a pleasant surprise. If you are thinking about picking it up, I would suggest it. I think I gave it around like a 3.5, 3.75 rating. So I read some, I did some rereads. So I read uh, The Princess Saved Herself in this one and The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one by Amanda Lovelace, who I love. But these are poetry books. This one revolves around like literally what the titles say. This one's super feminist, like more feminist than this one, but they all deal with, like they both deal with some tough subject matter and it's poetry, it's great. I've read them both twice this is not my i have two copies of this so this is not my tabbed one but okay i love these both i ended up giving this one a five and i gave this one a 4.5 this time around next up here probably my favorite book of the month if you follow me on twitter you know what it is but it's <laughs> the virgin suicides which i think this was like my seventh reread um i listened to the audiobook of this on script and holy shit did i love it so much listening to it I love this book with all my heart. Basically, it's about the five Lisbon daughters who all commit suicide, and it's narrated by these boys who live across the street and are very fascinated with their lives, and they narrate the story for us about what happened to them and their interactions with them and all the evidence they come up with and stuff like that. It's very interesting. 
love it so much the audiobook like the times that i've reread this like the what five or six times i've reread this have all been physical so like to listen to it on audiobook was really great and like i just loved it so much next i read smoke and mirrors and this is like an erotic poetry collection i read this author's other one dirty little pretty dirty pretty things or something i didn't like this one either erotic poetry isn't my thing because it will like flow like really nicely and then it'll just be super blunt like the last word and I'm just like you just ruined the whole thing like I just don't like it and I don't like the way this author writes I gave this two stars there was some good poems in here that I did like but for the most part like these were just like the last time I write about you I read this one on Scribd out of the ebook because I read some ebooks this month and I enjoyed this one I thought it was solid like there I don't have too many thoughts on it it was just decent like I liked some poems thought it was okay I gave it three stars then I listened to the audiobook of Entwined with you by Sylvia Day and I remember I said for the second book like I'm so done with this series which this series does suck like it's pretty bad like it's basically like 50 shades but different names and less BDSM slightly um but this is just these are so dramatic and so much but like they're so stupid and like you could say they're trash in my opinion but they're entertaining and that's why i read them <laughs> so i listened to the third one on audiobook like i would never spend my money on them but yeah it was okay it, it was interesting there you guys have it those are the books that i read the month of june let me know your thoughts down below and what you read your favorite book of the month possibly and yeah i'll see you all super soon with a new video make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below yes anyways bye